Hi everyone and welcome along to today's video. Yep, today I'm going to do one of my all time favourite sort of reviews, security cameras for home. Yep, you know I absolutely love them. This one is made by EasyViz, let's take a look at it. A closer look then, here we have a, I haven't unboxed it yet, it's not even come out of the box. There it is in there and actually on the box you'll get a lot of ideas of all the things it can actually do but we're going to go through those anyway. So here it is, I've got it mounted up, looking back up into my garden. Here then is the image that the camera is seeing up my garden at the moment. Looks pretty good, 1080p picture. There we go, good so we're doing it up the other way. Whoop. There we go, Whoop. a bit, bit closer to the ground. As you can see, it's got quite a good range. I've got it funnily mounted at the moment against the, the wall. And back to there. Now, just out of interest, you're probably wondering what this other picture's doing down here. This one is another easy viz camera that I put up two years ago on my roof. To sort of keep an eye on the seagulls, really, and it's still going really well, as you can see. And so is mowing there, barking as usual. <laughs> okay, let's take a little look at the settings, shall we? Audio, status light, infrared light, alarm notification, night vision mode, color night vision there, and time zones and date formats, and configurations. Another interesting button I like is this one here. It's called Active Defense. So I'll show you what this one does. I'll go outside with the camera. You get this kind of strobey big flashing light. It's probably quite good in the dark. I'll have to give it a go later. But uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Actually, it might scare the seagulls or hmm, it's a thought. Another set of interesting buttons are these here. You can see. Definition, multi-screen, record, definitions there. We go up to Ultra HD on the picture there. Alarm notifications in. And there we have human shape detection. Most important one, I think, don't you? You've got an old detection marking where you can mark out an area that you want it to be detected. The schedule, the set notification schedule. The motion detection here, as I say, that's the one I like. And sensitivity, low, high, or whatever you want. So I like all this one, set motion area. You can see the squares here. And you can set out an area that you want the detection to work on. So that's I like. <laughs> there we have the motion detection sensitivity. I've got it set midway. That's, this is the one I showed you earlier, the light flash and reminder when it's picked up someone, the old light will flash and away she goes, if you want it. You can turn it off, like I have now. <laughs> right, I'm going to take a walk out of the garden now and see how it gets on picking me up, shall we? Let's go. As you can see there, human detected is good stuff. Let's have a look at the video now. It should show you playback. There it is. And there's me. We. <laughs> That's enough of that. This camera then is reported to have a hundred foot night vision and color. So we're going to switch to that now and see how it looks. Here then is the camera view at night time. There you go, enough. <laughs> there we are then, that's the EaseViz 
is that V I Z is it is sounds good name to me. Really like it. I say I've had one up on the roof for uh, the last two years, just keep an eye out for the old seagulls, you know. Keep trying to stop nesting. So I've got that one that triggers me straight away if one lands up there and I know how we're getting on for nesting. So that's still going great, so I'm sure this one's gonna be just as good. Uh, what else have I forgot to tell you about? Probably yes, one of a couple of other things, just the colour night vision I think is great and also the fact you can record to the cloud or you can record to a 256 gigabyte maximum SD card. So all around, great little bit of kit. Okay, that's about it then. Thanks for watching everyone and catch you next time. Bye bye.